Okay, so you close that one. All right, so close this one. Close this one. Um, you can close this one. The one in the back? And then the one in the back. And then close this one. Close That'll this one. isolate the system. Now, once you hook up your hose to your bucket or hose outside, you drop the pressure in the boiler so the pressure will read zero. So it has to read zero. It has to read zero. And leave the valve, the drain valve open when you do this. Because mm -hmm. it'll break the vacuum and you will, it'll actually uh, allow water to suck back in instead of come out onto the burner. So when you unscrew it. So leave that open? Leave that open. It'll start, it'll start to, it'll start pulling what's called a vacuum. So it'll suck the water, whatever's left, back into the boiler as you're unscrewing it. Drop this, put the new one on right away, and you should be good to go. Turn the feeder valve on first, which what's is this? this, which is this one, I'm sorry. And then, um. And what is this main one down here? That's, that's the return isolation valve. And um, all each individual supply has an isolation valve. So open the feeder one first. If you don't hear anything, lift the lever to manually feed the boiler of the feeder. And once you reach around between 10 to 18 PSI, you open up all your valves and you should be good to go. Okay, we're gonna try that and say $250. Give it a shot. Yeah. <laughs> Give it a shot. 